Will Rogers of the Creators here in some city, heading down to Smoke and Free. Hello, hello, how are you? Bunch of creators down here. What's, what smells like creation? The very, the very nature of creation. It smells great. Are we supposed to? Yeah, tell us who, who are you? Where are we? All right, Mama. All right, we're at Smoke and Cream in Summersworth, New Hampshire, uh, 44 Market Street. We do slow smoke Texas style barbecue and homemade small batch ice cream. And this is my husband Tristan. Me and him, between yeah. the two of us, cook just about everything in here. This is Quentin, our fabulous hey, Quentin. bartender. All right, good to see you. So, yeah. so, cool thing about this is it's a, it's a genuine 360 degree world. So when we put this up on Facebook and YouTube, you can actually scan right around it, right on the screen. That's, oh, awesome. that's awesome. So cool. yeah. we'll see the we'll see the whole room. Right well, it's a it's a nice little space. We got this from from Dina Gaffin over at the. Uh, oh great! The I was just over there earlier, making some modifications to my rig. And uh, this is our indoor dining room. We have all of our meats plates and family packs up on the up on the chalkboards for everyone to see. Proudly displaying our New Hampshire flag. Cool. Because we are New Hampshireites now. We live right up the road with ah, your three local. daughters. We're cool. locals on Winter Street. Yep. Over here we have uh, our ice cream counter at Penny Bar. Um, which is a, a very cool little piece of art that was installed here at our restaurant. Oh, um, we get some cool pickings from, uh, we buy stuff up the road. Every time he finds something ice cream related, he'll uh, he'll give me a call and let me know. So we've got some fun uh, ice cream related antiques going on here. So, you know, the smoke and cream, um, you know, that, that, that seems like a it's cool when you see it, the idea of putting, I mean, is the it's cream good. ice cream and the smoke? The uh, smoke is barbecue and the cream is ice cream. And we figured, you know, if you don't like barbecue, you like ice cream. And if you don't both. like, what? Oh, I was just saying, most people like both. Most people like both. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, we also do small batch bourbons. We do our own homemade fresh lemonade, um, hibiscus, hibiscus tea, tea yeah. which we have our little hibiscus flowers that are fighting. Oh, that's what, that's what uh, those was are out there, I was wondering. Yes, yeah. those are hibiscus, and then, uh, yeah, if you want to take a quick peek, we just had a, we're in the middle of installing our awning, which is super exciting, going to give us... I saw it walking over here. Yeah, yeah, So, we've got Brian hard at work, hanging the lights for our Ooh, awning. And, and what, this is not, we do not have, we have a 360 degree uh, world here, but we do not have smell o so you're going to have to use your oh, imagination. Yeah here at the smoker. We have right now today, we have three briskets oh, and two man. pork butts going in here. Oh man, you gotta and smell then, that. You gotta be, come over here and smell that. They'll wow. Be, uh, they'll be ready. Oh. I put them on at 10 this morning. They'll be ready by 10 o'clock tonight to come off the smoke. Um, and So does the smoke both flavor it as well as cook it? Is it? Uh, oh yes, yeah. So a brisket, you want to get to 195 degrees to be a perfect tender, um, you know, falling apart, smoky, and you want to get yeah. about a quarter of an inch of a smoke ring on it. And I'm going to show you in here. This is our wow. hardwood, local. We got this out wow. of Rochester, local hardwood. So just an open chamber to go into the... Just an open chamber. It's all done by hand. I'm out here every 15 minutes throughout the day. Wow. Making sure that we stay between 225 and 250. Mm. And, uh, and that's, mm. that's, uh, that's how it happens. Mm. Uh, really quickly, we can do a, a walk through the kitchen. Sure. These are, uh, this is our hot box here. We've got ribs chicken we uh we actually slow dry out our corn cobs and then throw them on our fire to give a little ah, corn cobby flavor ah. to our barbecue something to do with the mulching corn cobs that i have yes yes and then uh, 
Yeah, that's about it. This is some beautiful sausage we just got from Ooh. Tender Crop Farm. Mm. Made it fresh for us today. Mm. I can't wait to get it on the smoker. It's a jalapeno Monterey Jack cheddar blend. So that'll be fantastic. How long would you see the sausage going into the smoker? Uh, the sausage takes about an hour. Mm -hmm. And we have a, a slightly smaller smoker that we do that one with. Mm -hmm. Here's all of my little ice cream machines. I make all of my batches of ice cream in two quart. Right here. Right here in two quart batches. Wow. So if you ever come and I'm short on a flavor, because I'm just making just them minutes, small, like, yeah. small batches at a time. Sometimes when they're first coming out, they, they're a little bit like soft serve, but yeah. I've had people still enjoy them. So, mm -hmm. so yeah, and that's... Uh, that's our little kitchen. So. Cool. And then you're back in our dining room. Nice. Indeed. All right. All right. This is us. Excellent. Yeah. Smoking Creek. All right. That is Smoking Creek. We're in downtown Summersworth, the heart of some city.